Uh, I had a great day because Russell Wilson apparently is going to play football into his 50s. Good day for me. 15 more years of my favorite NFL player. Um, Two things are happening in all of sports. You know, let's talk football here. Uh, Players are getting better earlier, especially quarterbacks. Um, Camps, they got 10,000 throws by the time they're 12 12 years old. 365-day commitment. The quarterback no longer plays this sport, that sport, this sport, that sport. They're into football. They're into camps. They're in Elite 11. So they're getting better earlier. The second thing is they're lasting way longer. Personal trainers, personal chefs. Russell Wilson spends $1.5 million, has for years on his body. There's no losers on this. I mean, it's great for the fans. You get your star players like Mahomes for 15 years, not nine, not 10. It's great for the league because they don't have to keep looking for the next star. They get their stars for two decades, not one. It's great for general managers because if you do have to rebuild, it's always easier to rebuild with Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers. So the rebuilds don't take it. A rebuild is like, we don't have a quarterback. That rebuild, you can miss on four quarterbacks. It's great for everybody. It's great for the league. It's great for fans. It's great for fantasy. There's no losers. And I do think Russell Wilson, LeBron year 17, Brady year 20, 21, I think he's got a lot of their habits and traits. He's really smart. He takes care of his body. He gets the big picture. Brady's always stayed away from politics mostly. Not that he doesn't have opinions. It just wasn't good for his brand, which was very corporate. LeBron's into politics. For him, that's great for his brand in Hollywood. Russell Wilson takes care of his body. He sees it as a long-term investment. But you know what I thought when I saw this? The first thing I thought when I saw this was, oh, so he's not ending his career in Seattle. Because why did LeBron leave Cleveland? The Cavs were no longer good for his brand. Why did Brady leave New England? They couldn't get him the kind of players to elevate him as he aged. And what's happening in Seattle, once again this year, battle line and an insistence to run a 1988 offense, and Russell is the life preserver, saving drive after drive and game after game. Seattle has never understood. It's never been Richard Sherman's team or Marshawn Lynch's or Pete Carroll's. It's been Russell. And they'll get it like New England or the Cavs, and it will be too late. So I want to talk about age. So I thought, you know, Mission Impossible is an unbelievable series. Unbelievable. I've never met Tom Cruise, but it's unbelievable. Tom Cruise has aged well. He's almost 60. And I'm watching him last night. I'll go through his trailer. He's doing a Top Gun trailer. The guy looks unbelievable. Does he have hair dye? The hell do I care? I don't know veneers on his teeth i don't know everybody's like well he's got a lot of money a lot of people in hollywood have money they look like hell at 58 he takes care of himself work out eat right doesn't sit on twitter yelling at people all day whatever it is that guy has aged well not everybody in hollywood with money ages well seen russell crow lately guy needs some produce okay the point being is This is why I don't like the... I love Mission Impossible. This is why I don't like the Steelers this year. I get a lot of feedback. They're the only good team in the league I don't like. I'm a little cool on Green Bay, but I still think they win 9-10 games. I think the Steelers are under 500. They have not aged well. Certain people in sports have. Tom Brady. Pete Carroll's got incredible energy. Herm Edwards is almost 70 years old. Whatever it is, the diet, the work, I think everybody works out. The diet, the workout, the relationship. You still love your wife. Whatever it is, some guys age well. Pittsburgh has an age well. Um, Ben's an old 38. Uh, I, Mike Tomlin is a great press conference coach, but too often he gets emotional, not into data enough for my taste. I think they're too permissive sometimes for some of their stars. They just feel loose. They're not disciplined enough for me and they have an age well when is their last playoff win do you know what it was four years ago and they didn't score a touchdown in kansas city the last three playoff wins they've had they've beaten andy dalton matt moore and alex smith and they've lost to tim tebow and blake bortles blake bortles at home so it's just one of those things where i just don't buy so i saw a big ben quote yesterday and he's talking about Um, his elbow, how it feels great. 
And Big Ben came out and said, I've had this pain for years. It's just been brutal. This is the first 13, 14 years. I've had a tear the whole time. And you're just now addressing it? Do you think Tom Brady would wait 13 years if he had soreness? You're just now addressing it? Like, I just, I've, I don't even know why it is. I've always been sort of impressed by people that age well. It tells me they have good judgment. They make good decisions based on their relationships, their food, their workouts, whatever it is. They've got balance in their life. They're not angry all the time. But I just look at Pittsburgh, and I look at the NFL, and I look at Herm Edwards, and I look at Brady, and I, and I just see some people that just age so well. Pittsburgh, they put on a few pounds. They're combing their hair over. They're not. My wife always says, Colin, just stay current. Be current. Don't be the old guy on the air that's not current and complaining about Instagram. Get on Instagram. Don't complain about it. And that's the new Colin, too. Contact Colin and Instagram Colin. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.